Today is Dogan Deska. Today is Saturday, April 22nd, 2023, here in Pacifica, California, Tuoma, South of San Francisco. Uh, 46 low, 61 high. It's getting up here, the metal Medaka, Medaka metal style. The metal in Medaka today is this boss metal zone MT2 from way back in the days from the 80s. Um, it's just the season to create or make um, spawning mobs, right? So I'm marinating my spawning mobs right here. Uh, this is one thing I think a lot of people do not talk about. Um, a lot of people know how to make these spawning mobs, right? You got these, you cut them up, you roll them up, and you insert them in this hole right here, and you float them up. And you get this instant mop. Um, I should show an example. This is like an old one from last year, but it's going to look like this. Where the medakas are going to be. Some of them are, are going to lay their eggs or rub their eggs onto this, right? I like to just flip one up like this so it's easy to grab. But this is a process that a lot of people tend to not do, which I think it's really important. So, it's pretty warm over here. Let me take a real quick sip. The best beer of the day is I just got back from next. I know it's a Saturday, it's not Sunday. I'm going to be going to Vacaville tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to go to Nick. So, went to Nick's today, came back with a bunch of brewskis, IPAs, and some wine. So, but at home, I have this light beer. Come by Chin Chin Chayo. <sighs> oh, yeah, the best beer of the day is beer that I have when I have all you Minnow heads with me. All right, long story short. All right. So making these spawning mobs, super simple. I stuff four of these. These are just those rags, right? That you use to clean dishes and all that stuff. Cut them up in a certain size. I put four of them in here so I don't have to make one at a time. Um, I have this knife right here. And I just chop, chop, chop. After that, flip this around I place this these are just as like a pool uh, noodle things you get these for like two bucks and you just start cutting and then they end up into this marinating pool so these are the uh, noodles that I've been cut and these are the scrubs that I have been cut, like octopus style. Eventually they're gonna be rolled up like this and they're gonna be inserted into the hole to create the spawning mob, right? If you want that look where, not the look, but like comes in handy. Like if you want that one leg up like this, so you could grab it easily. This is all I do. This is a step that a lot of people forget and do not do. All these products that we get from, I don't, I don't know, from, from this earth, right? From the world somewhere. There are no, uh, I purchase things that do not have chemicals. But there's probably stuff on this, right? Coating and all that stuff. And if you are going to introduce these into your tubs or your aquariums, over time, there's going to be some chemicals like leaching into your water. And depending on what it is, it could probably kill them or it could be probably pretty, 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 pretty toxic. Let me take a real quick sip. <clears throat> So what I do is I marinate them. Um, I just throw them in water 
once I cut, make these things or cut these things, cut these guys, I just marinate them in water and I leave them outside and let the sunshine do its natural thing. And uh, you will see like, Again, I just did this right now, so you won't see it, but like over time, you will see some like stuff floating on the top. And um, long story short, man, this is a step that a lot of people s skip. Um, just getting whatever that's in these human made products out, right? Letting the sun just like cleanse them. So whatever that's in here or whatever it's on the surface coating the material gets all clean and dandy before they do get introduced into our tubs, right? If you don't do that over time, it's going to sit there. And whatever is coating this plastic material um, is going to leach into the water and and possibly harm the fish. So that's one step that I don't think people have mentioned. So. I figure like and this is for every single thing that I purchase that I put in tubs or aquariums I make sure that I marinate these guys outside or you could put like hot water right there are various ways to do all this stuff but this is the way I do it like natural style I'll just leave these guys out in the sun for a while and uh let the sun kill everything. After that, what I will do is I will remove these these and put them in a different tub, rinse them out before I use these um, man-made products. So. All right, let's keep it short and sexy. <clears throat> Let me take a real quick sip. Oh yeah, all right, so. I'll report back, so medical metal style here in Pacific, California, 12 miles south of San Francisco, maybe had a little bit too, uh, I had one too many beers, maybe, but I did have that nice Merlot at the end, so, all right, um, if you liked this kind of, like, content, please, uh, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down, um, that would be a good indicator allowing me to process um, in my mind, in my little mind, um, what kind of information that the people around the world are looking at. I actually got contacted by somebody from the UK. I actually got contacted from somebody in Thailand. So I know this information is like going out there. Um, and uh, All of us in this hobby, we're here for the same thing, right? Just to enjoy, just to learn the beauty, the beautiful, beautifulness of these medalkas. So, all right, we'll do you next time. Come by Jinchin Chao. Out. Medalka middle style.